right, cheer, let's go Irish. Let's welcome the head coach of the Notre Dame basketball team, Mike Bray. Thank you, buddy. You took a little bit of time out. You're busy recruiting yeah. right now, but it's not just you. The entire Notre Dame men's team is here, and they're out amongst you right now. You just got back from Italy. I know you're really excited about this season. You know, I am, and, it, you know, all our guys came down. Austin Burgett being from Avon, he's kind of hosting them all at their house. I think it turned into a dorm tonight, but they're all coming down to the game. I actually was able to come down and do a little recruiting this morning, and catch the game tonight and then back on the road tomorrow it's that time of year but you're right we we were in Italy August 5 to 15 which came at a good time for us uh, really did with Grant back and some of the sophomores that we need to have bigger roles over there for 10 days four games so I thought we were really able to grow and once you get back in the season uh, you know once you get back in school you're in your routine of practicing and into your stuff and we'll start practice officially like early October you had it really going in the Big East. I think the last five years you were in the top four, three of the last five years. Uh, went to the ACC, which has now become yeah. the toughest league in uh, college basketball from a depth perspective and had some adversity last year. And you struggled a bit. You almost got Carolina in your last regular season yeah. game in their court, but you couldn't get over the hump. And now Jaron's back. You've got Connaughton. I know you're really excited about this group. Well, you know, you feel, have, you, you feel you have a better feel for this league now. Um, and, and I really feel like I'm almost back like I was in 19, uh, in 2000 when I got here. We were trying to fight for an identity in the Big East and we did that. We're kind of in that mode now with the ACC. Louisville comes in. It's going to be the deepest conference, but when you have Grant and Connaughton, that's a really good place to start. When you take a look out from this stage, you're beginning your 15th year yeah. as the head coach of the Fighting Irish basketball team. And I mean, again, this was close. I had the same worry in Chicago. Well, we're close to South Bend. We had 10,000 show up for the pep rally. As far as we can see, there are Irish fans here. This is one of the things that makes Notre Dame such a unique place. Uh, it, you know, we've just taken over this town, haven't we, walking around this afternoon. It's great. And in, in the Irish festivals the same weekend. Yes. Talk, talk about good karma. Um, but, you know, this, this town's always been great. And, of course, we've been coming down and playing here regularly in the crossroads. I think it's December 19th, yep. we're, we're playing Purdue down here, uh, so we'll be back down here. But a great, a great town and a great fan base, and, and uh, we're excited about our second season in the ACC. Of course, we've got some pretty good non-league games. Michigan State Eight. comes to us in yep. early December as part of the ACC Big Ten Challenge, so that's going to be an exciting one in December. And this is not that unusual. I'm glad you took time out from the recruiting trip, but a lot of times there's some friction at a major college between the football program and the men's basketball <laughs> program. You're looking at one of the biggest Notre Dame football fans. He's always on the sidelines back in South Bend. Man, I, nobody, nobody roots for our football program more than me because when we're rolling like we are now, those weekends at home when I'm entertaining recruits, there's great positive energy. Um, so I love it. I love it, and, and uh, it's been fun to watch what Coach Kelly's done with the program, but we certainly got the look right now. Coach, thank Thanks, you so man. much. Go Irish. Go Irish.